Scanning for Vulnerabilities in Web Applications. Welcome to the video Enumerating Websites. In this video, we will review how we can use Nmap to identify sites running web services within our network, use a free tool called Wappalyzer to figure out what technologies are running on a given website, and we'll also look at a few internet resources that are useful for identifying this type of port and service information. In this final section of the course, I wanted to expand upon what we've been learning about network and vulnerability scanning by putting us a little deeper into the mindset of a penetration tester. For example, you might end up working for a security firm that does web application penetration tests, and so one skill you should have is the ability to identify what various technologies are running on a website so that you can better gauge what kind of attacks you want to run against it. Before we start down that path, though, let's back up and do a little review. In some of the past videos, we covered how we can use Nmap to output results into three different formats. Let's review that command again. First, I'm going to look at my subnets.txt to make sure it contains all the targets in scope for eventual penetration testing. Then I'm going to run Nmap space TAC lowercase i capital L and reference the subnets.txt file. Then I'm going to add a TAC lowercase o, capital A, and then the name of what the output file will be. I'll just call this targets because Nmap will automatically add the appropriate extensions of XML, Nmap, and GNMap. Next, let's review how we used the XML output in combination with a tool like Eyewitness to take screenshots of any web services found in our Nmap scan. To do that, we call eyewitness by its full path, and for me, that's in the slash opt slash eyewitness folder, and then we add a tac x followed by the XML file we just created, and then we add a tac tac web to the end. When Eyewitness is done doing its operation, we'll be asked if we want to open the report. So we'll type Y and press Enter. And here we can see Eyewitness has taken a screenshot of what looks to be an Apache Tomcat server and a TP-Link router. Now along the left side here, we get a little bit of additional information, such as the page title and potential server version. We've also covered a bit of the Nmap script engine and how we can leverage those scripts to really dig deep into a host's services for detailed information. For example, I'll run Nmap plus tac tac script space http tac enum dot nse plus the IP of the target host followed by tac p8080 which specifies the port the service is running on. This HTTP enum script does some fingerprinting of the web service and gives us a little more information about it. And again, as we've covered in the past, Nmap has many scripts you can run, both for HTTP as well as a whole slew of other services to probe your host for a trove of information. However, when it comes to assignments you might receive as a penetration tester, you're likely going to be testing applications in the cloud, and you will probably want to do some initial recon on the site to learn about the technologies that the applications use. But you want to tread carefully here. In my opinion, you shouldn't actively scan a customer site until the engagement formally begins. But the good news is you can gather a lot of good enumeration data, either through websites that collect this information or plugins you can install in your browser. For example, let's open up a browser and go to builtwith.com. Builtwith makes it easy for you to figure out, naturally, what technologies sites were built with. So I'm just going to type in 7minsec.com here, which is my corporate website. And we can see that Builtwith returns a ton of useful information including the type of analytics and tracking tools I use, installed widgets, the content management system, 
JavaScript libraries, and even some information about my DNS configuration, email hosting, and SSL certificate provider. This information can be incredibly helpful, not just for web app penetration testing, but a more broad engagement where you might be tasked with sending phishing emails to an organization. For example, if someone was doing a phishing campaign against 7-minute security users, they could craft a realistic looking message that asks users to change their Office 365 password. And the attacker would likely have success because an average user could think, oh, I have Office 365, so I better click this link right now. Anyway, back to enumerating websites. Another good site I like for this type of info gathering is w3techs.com. It has the same kind of setup. We simply type in a URL, click Site Info, and W3Text spits out a nice table of information with the website's summary, how long it has been online, the content management system it's using, etc. Now, I personally find it handy to be able to glean some of this web technology information with just a single click right from within my browser. So I want to show you a plugin called Wappalizer. You can find it pretty quickly by doing a search for Wappalizer on Google. And then I'm just going to kind of follow the link trail here to get this installed for my browser. Once Wappalizer is installed, it will passively gather information about every site we visit. So let's Google for OWASP Juice Shop, which is one of my favorite tools for practicing web application pen testing. It looks like their main site is hosted over at OWASP.org. And now that the site is loaded in my browser, let's click this little icon in the far right of our address bar, and we'll see that Wappalizer has identified this site as running MediaWiki version 1.27.2. It uses Google Analytics. It's running on an Apache server and is based in PHP. Having the software version of 1.27.2 in this case can be really handy, as we might then want to hop over to a site like ExploitDB, like we have in past videos, and we can search for any exploits that might be available for that specific version of MediaWiki. I highly recommend you take some time and do your homework on your targets using these kind of sites and plugins so that you can have a more efficient and focused penetration test once it begins.